Good morning! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thanks for tuning in to a video. And if you are not new here, welcome back. I am doing a work from home day in my life. I feel like these are everyone's favorite videos to watch. They're always my most viewed videos. So I figured why not pick up the camera and do it today. So I am going to the gym right now. I'm going to an 8 a.m. strength class at my favorite gym, Athletic Outcomes. If you're in Austin, definitely check it out. And we're just gonna have some fun today. I really don't have anything planned besides my obviously work and to-do list for that. But I made an English muffin with cashew butter, honey, and Himalayan salt that I'm going to eat on the way there. And then I made myself an iced latte with vanilla and maple syrup, so good. And then I also made my friend Kylie a latte as well, cause she is the coach for my class. So I wanted to bring her that since I haven't seen her in a while. Subscribe if you are not already and let's do it. Welcome to a day in my life. It is Wednesday, woo! Just got back from the gym, so I do a strength class at Athletic Outcomes, AO for short, and you do four stations and a certain amount of reps at each. So today or this week at the gym is max strength week. So we did four to six reps, unilateral or bilateral. So one, you know, you're moving your body at one time or like two separate legs, two separate arms. I'm sweating, so we're gonna take this off. Yeah, so the exercises were like, I don't even know how to explain them. It was like a goblet squat, so you held the weight here, down, halfway up, down, up. So four to six reps, four times through. The other one we did was like a narrow row, but you were in kind of like a gate pose for people who know yoga. One leg was out, one leg you were on your other knee, and you were just lifting up. The other one was just a step up, so on a bench with weights. And then the last one we did TRX pull up. So that was the workout I just did. All their workouts are 50 minutes, which I love. And I'm gonna fill my water now with ice and water. So thirsty. I'm just gonna take like a deep breath. I checked my calendar today for my work from home. I have a call at 9.30 with one of my teachers, so that's in 14 minutes. I am going to put my sneakers back on because I got a walking pad for my standing desk. So we are gonna try that today. I have, I've like turned it on and stuff, but I haven't actually like worked and walked, you know? So we're gonna try that today, see how that goes. And then this will just be like standard work from home. So what I make for lunch, what I end up making for breakfast, all of that, and then how I close out my day and how I organize my day. So we'll do a walking pad review as well. Let's do it. Work from home, day in my life, Sarah's Spades version. I'm getting my whole desk set up now. I needed to put my monitor again on books or notebooks or anything. If you saw another one of my work from home vlogs, I've done this before. I actually want to get just like a monitor stand for it. And then I have my computer hooked up to my monitor, my keyboard and my mouse all set up. I brought my headset actually from the office home today because I've just found that it's easier than connecting my AirPods and like it's doing what it's meant for, taking calls. Stanley's there, my phone's there, it's just on the charger right here. So this part of my desk charges my phone. And then in here is where I have the remote for my walking pad. Right now it's on zero. I'm gonna go ahead and press power. Oh, that turned it off. Power on, and then I think I press play, and it'll count down five, four, three, two, one, and then I'm just gonna increase the speed, I think to like 1.6 to start. So just like a slow and steady walk. And then I think I'm gonna have to put up my standing desk a little bit. We're gonna get the day started and just walk a little bit. Let the juices flow. We'll see if this helps with my concentration and I'll give you a review once I'm done for the day. I decided to take a shower because my 9.30 call left his phone at home so he didn't have a way to chat. And we could have done a Zoom except I was like still sweaty and hadn't showered for my workout. 
So I was like, in case this happens again, I should probably shower. And I just feel like I sweat more on the walking pad because I was already sweaty. So because I don't have a call until 10.30 or a meeting I think is at 10.30, with some like new announcement of tours that we're doing, which I'm excited about. I am gonna make a smoothie because I had an English muffin, as you saw with cashew butter, honey, and salt this morning, but that was like three hours ago, so I'm, I'm hungry. I have been putting my blender actually up here in this cabinet just because we don't have that much counter space and with the Breville and like our toast robber, which are both big, it was just like annoying to have both, so. All my smoothie stuff should be in here. I just don't know where the blade is. Might be in the dishwasher. You know when you put something in the dishwasher, like this isn't a good example because I should have put it to the side, but like a cup and it accidentally flips up and then it has like all the dirty water in it. So gross. That just happened. Let's get all the ingredients out for the smoothie. As you all know, usually my base is spinach. I don't know why I said usually, it always is. So spinach. Kefir for a good probiotic, just a little bit of that. And then I don't need anything else in the fridge. In the freezer, I need frozen bananas, pineapple, and mango. I almost am out of pineapple, so I should go to Costco soon, but because I leave next week to go to Europe, which I can talk about, I'm probably not gonna really grocery shop. Now we go over here. Back to where we make the smoothie. I love smoothies because it's like super easy cleanup and it's also really easy to do. You just like throw everything in the blender and mix it up. You're not cooking, you don't need to use a pan. And when you wash the, the like Nutribullet or smoothie cup, whatever you use, right away, it's really easy to clean. If you leave it and wait, it's like so annoying because then everything sticks to the sides. But if you do it right away, it's easy. And then in this cabinet is where we have like all of our powders and more like health products, hydration tablets. We use Cure instead of, I've used Liquid IV and I really like it, but with Cure, I can use my HSA account. So like my flexible spending account. So I purchased that online. And then we have like all our vitamins and stuff in here. But what I will get is the collagen peptides. And then I think I might add a little bit of spirulina today, just as a little added like superfood. I'm also gonna go ahead and add a little bit organic yogurt, just plain non-fat yogurt from Costco to add a little extra protein because two thirds of a cup is 18 grams of protein. And I didn't put protein powder in the smoothie since right now I have like a peanut butter flavored protein. And I don't really wanna use that in like more of like a tropical smoothie. This color is like magnificent, the screen. Look at her. It is the spirulina combined with the spinach that makes it such a pretty color green, but it looks so delicious. I'm excited. If you have followed along with my vlogs, you know that Hobie has had a little bit of some accidents lately. So Billy's mom actually got us a Bissell Little Green Pro Heat Carpet and Upholstery Deep Cleaner. So I'm going to open that now and just like get rid of kind of like the extra stuff. And then it also came with this like spot and stain cleaner as well. So this I think you also can put in the Bissell, but I'm just gonna put it under our sink for now. And then let's go unbox this little bad boy. It's funny because for the smoothie video, I was using this as my like tripod. <laughs> so now you're a little bit lower, which I'm just too lazy to get my other tripod. All right, I'm gonna just put it on the ground because I feel like that's easier. Okay, it has an attachment. Hydro rinse, I don't know what that is. It must be just like a little attachment. Like different hose clips and stuff like that. We have a Dyson vacuum, like the, the big animal vacuum one, but this is obviously for like when he has accidents on the carpet or like on the couch. He threw up on the couch the other day, which we cleaned with just like Resolve and it comes off because the couch we bought is actually like resistant to animal fur and stains and stuff. So that was pretty nice, but this will just be easier to have like a one-stop little thing. We'll have to read all about what these are. Stair tool. We don't have stairs, but hey, okay. eventually I'm sure we will have stairs if we buy a home. So that is good to have. And then let's get the little green out. Here she is. This is what it looks like. 
I don't like understand how it's super different from a vacuum, but it has like all the assembly. So I'll do that later, but I really just wanted to get it out so I could go like put the box away and like recycle it. And I just wanted to like kind of see how it looks. So there's our Bissell for Hobie's little throw up stains. Just me on my walking pad. I put it on speed 2.0 right now just because I'm like getting some work done, watching some YouTube. My meeting at 10, 10 a.m. and 10.30 also canceled and just like rescheduled. So now my next meeting isn't until 11, 11.30 and then noon. So I'll be in back to backs then. But actually I'm loving the walking pad. It feels like really good to just be moving my legs and my body as I'm working. And I don't walk as much as I used to when I lived in Boston because Austin is just like not as walkable of a city. So, so far, review is good. We'll see how much I use it though. Obviously I'm gonna use it all today because I'm like, I just gotta, I have to use it. But you know, over time that excitement might die down. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, that is true. I was just on a call for 30 minutes with one of my teachers and Billy made me a, what do you call it again? I forgot. Patty melt. A patty melt. And it's spinach, cheese, onions, and obviously like a cheeseburger. So I'm gonna eat my lunch now. I just finished lunch a little bit ago and finished up some work that I had to do. I ate my lunch at my desk, so I'm now just like taking a quick lunch break for probably like 10, 15 minutes to read my book because my actual lunch break, I'm going to play tennis with my friend Caroline at 2.45. So we're just gonna do tennis for an hour, which is perfect because that's my lunch break. But like I said, I just really wanna sit on the couch for 10 minutes and read. I am reading The Storyteller by Jodi Picoult, which is one of my absolute favorite books. I've read it once or twice before but I'm reading it again because, like I said before, I am traveling to Poland for three days in two weeks. And this book is about World War II, the Holocaust, all of that. And I am going to be going to a concentration camp when I'm in Poland. And I wanted to get my mind and my headspace in that time period so i thought that it would be good to go ahead and read my favorite book again so i literally just started i think i'm on like page 15 or something like that so I'm just gonna sit here and read for a little bit um i lit a candle and i am just drinking a spindrift seltzer one of my favorites after tennis, I went to this place called The Soup Peddler. They have smoothies and soups, obviously. And then they also have like little grilled cheeses, but I didn't get that. I had a sandwich for lunch. But I was just really craving soup, so I got their chicken wild rice soup, which I'm gonna heat up now. And then the smoothie I got was called like the Rip Turn, I think. It's blueberries, I don't even remember what else some type of protein powder, banana maybe, apple juice, I think. It's delicious. Hey, Hobie, is that your little chicken leg sticking out? It's 5.45 and we're finished with the work day. So thank you all for tuning in to another work from home day in the life vlog with me. I had so much fun with you all today. Walking pad is great. I'm actually really happy that I got it and I'm excited to use it when I continue to work from home. I am gonna take Hobie outside, just go on a walk before the sun goes down, check our mail, and just hang out and brainstorm what I want for dinner because I don't know yet what I'm in the mood for. I had that soup like almost two hours ago now and it was really filling. I'm getting my period so that makes sense why I'm craving like warm, yummy meals. I just don't really know what I want yet. I might have like something in the freezer that I might want or maybe I'll go out to eat or something, we'll see. 
But like I said, thanks for watching another video, day in my life with me. If you're not already, please make sure to subscribe. I usually post a video every Friday. I think I'm gonna change my cadence to do every Sunday, just so that gives me the weekend to be able to film if I want to, like if I don't get to film during the week, and then edit as well since I have more time on the weekend than I do during the week with just a full-time job and life. So thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.